Welcome back everyone. If you want to whip up something sweet for your sweetie, but you don't want to necessarily buy it from a bakery, then you're in luck because we've got these guys right here, Chef James and Jesse from HB Plus. They're going to be making some healthy alternatives for those recipes for Valentine's Day for your desserts. James, tell us about this one. Well, this, smells delicious. This is a, a raspberry uh, mousse parfait. Okay. And uh, we start off with the angel, f uh, angel food cake cubes, which is a uh, cholesterol and uh, fat-free food. Okay. And then uh, what you have there, Victoria, that's a uh, homemade raspberry sauce. And what we did, we took about a cup and a half of fresh raspberries and just forced that through a strainer. Uh, we saved the juice and then mixed that with a little sugar and a little cornstarch, and then just brought that to a boil for about two minutes till it thickens and then chill it. And then what we did was we took that and divided it in half. Mm -hmm. uh, in your half, I mixed a little uh, fresh orange juice from our Aguas Fresas. Ooh, and in uh, Jesse's half, he's gonna be folding that in with a little uh, uh, light uh, whipped topping that's gonna go on top of the dessert. So if, uh, if you wanna- Does she just sprinkle some of this yeah, on? Yeah, just put some of the sauce on okay. top of the cake so the cake can kind of soak up the sauce. Oh, yummy. And you know what's great about the angel food cake is that you can take help from the store if you're just not into baking like me. Right, you can just <laughs> pick those up from the store. Now you have some strawberries. Here. No, those are just going to go on top as a garnish. Okay. You can garnish that with, okay. with various fresh fruit. That goes last. Oh, it looks last. Don't, okay. Don't well, get ahead of me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting Jesse's so gonna, excited. Jesse's going to put some of Jesse's that. Jesse's just going to put a dollop of that on moves. top. Oh, yeah. And uh, this is a, is a pro-diabetic dessert as well. Wow. It's only, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's only about... Uh, about 164 wow, that. calories. <gasps> oh, this you are is 164 me. calories. No, only 164 okay. calories. Oh my and goodness. Now can I put the strawberries on there? Yeah, you can put okay. the strawberries on now. Okay. And it's uh, equivalent to, for a diabetic exchange, it's equivalent to one starch, one fat, or half a uh, fruit. Okay, so these are really some healthy alternatives that you got going this mm -hmm. morning. And of course, the raspberry smells phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't like raspberries? It's alone, standing alone, is a decadent fruit to eat. And this would be a great dessert to share as well. Uh, Hannah, good job. I know. Good job, girl. <laughs> okay, right, let's get to next our up, next now this one's very popular for, for Valentine's. This is a tiramisu. Oh, oh. Like tiramisu, This is a, this is a right? traditional Italian dessert, and uh, this is actually a, a very light uh, version. Uh, typically, a, a, a tiramisu in a restaurant will be around 1,100 calories. Oh, wow. And probably cost you about seven or eight dollars per serving. This is going to mm -hmm. cost you about half as much to make at home and is somewhere around 200 calories. That cuts so it's a it. huge oh difference. Oh my goodness, that's way more than half. That is. Mm -hmm. So you're going to so, start wow. with lady fingers. We have some store-bought lady fingers okay. and we're just going to brush those uh, rather liberally with some hot coffee. You can use either uh, espresso or a really strong black coffee mm -hmm. and we're just going to brush these uh, very liberally. And the mm -hmm. great part is that you can put as much cream as you want. You don't have to put as much as they put in at the restaurants. Right. You can, you can go a little lighter if you prefer. Mm -hmm. But we're just going to liberally brush that, let those lady okay. fingers just soak up that, uh, soak up the coffee. And, and then, then we're going to top that off. This is a, uh, an agave uh, dark chocolate fudge sauce. Wow. Uh, sweetened oh, with agave, so has no added sugar, so it's, uh, it's uh, pro-diabetic. Wow. And we're just going to, this is a great dessert for chocolate on. lovers, too. We're just going to drizzle a fair amount of that on the, these lady fingers. And then fingers. really quickly, what's the last couple of ingredients that you do on this one specifically? Well, uh, on this one specifically, it's, uh, it's a, a cream topping, which is uh, uh -huh. from uh, whipped egg whites and uh, a little cream cheese. Right. And we, we cut a lot of the fat and calories out by using uh, egg whites, egg whites right. instead of the egg yolks and the cream cheese okay. instead of the mascarpone. So that goes on top. Wow. Well, and then James, it just turns into something else. We want to thank you for being here so much this morning. I'm going to cheers with Hannah right now. And then um, I have a little dark chocolate to go on top okay. of that. And of course, you can find these recipes on valleycentral.com or get some ready-made stuff at HB Plus as well if you're not in the mood to make these up at home. <laughs> we'll be right back.